Hello and welcome to another in our series of short video tutorials on the newest version of PaintShop Pro Photo X3. One of the new applications added to X3 is the Project Creator. Project Creator is a one-stop spot for creating, editing, and sharing projects. Users can produce photo books, collages, cards, calendars, and slideshows in just a few clicks and then share their work to YouTube, Facebook, or Flickr. Projects can also be saved as PDF, JPEG, or Microsoft Silverlight animated files. In addition, photo enthusiasts can back up digital assets and order professional prints online from within the project creator. Let's try out some of these projects and sharing options, shall we? First, we need to launch Project Creator from the Start menu as it's a separate application from PaintShop Pro Photo. Look at all these great choices we have to choose from. I think I'll start with my favorite, the photo book. Photo books are the perfect way to showcase a collection of favorites, especially when you create one yourself and it's so easy to do. Let's do that. I'll click the icon to launch the photo book creator, add a name, choose a style, and click down here to add photos to it. All right, I've chosen one of my folders of photographs, one of my daughter, and what we need to do is select which ones we want to include in our photo book. In this case, all of them. So I'll do a Control A to select all and drag them down to my project or media tray down at the bottom. Once I have all my content, click Go to Photo Book. So here's my photo book, and believe it or not, it's actually auto filled all the pages for me in order that I have them here in my media tray. So here's my cover. Click the forward arrow to open it, and I can swap out any of the photographs that are in here by just dragging and dropping new ones. I can zoom in, position it, do whatever I want to do. Go to the next page, and do the same thing. I can add captions. edit the text. I can even change the style midstream and it updates it, although I kind of like the previous one, so I'm still going to go back. And not only can I turn the pages this way, I can also turn them this way. This is the new Microsoft Servalite technology and if you have a Windows 7 touch compatible computer, you can use your fingers to do everything that I'm doing here. So I think this is a pretty cool and fun technology. And once you're ready, output photo book to all different kinds of choices, including saving it as an animated file so all your friends and family can turn the pages with their fingers or their mouse as well, or order a professionally printed book online. Great choices, huh? All right, let's try a different project. Let's try the calendar. Again, title it, choose the date you want to start it on, choose a layout, and select your photos. Just like we did in the previous ones. Of course, now we we'll probably want 12 photos, okay? Let's choose 12. Once you have your 12 chosen, drag them down to the media tray again, and click Go to Calendar. It's auto-filled the cover for us. We can add a title here. Click Next. And it's auto-filled the pages. So we can adjust them if we like. Or again, we can swap them out for something different. Pretty easy, huh? Again, you can use your mouse to turn the pages. So I guess we actually could have used more than 12 pictures. But again, you can change the layouts too. So if you just want one picture per page, you can do that. So a lot of cool choices, so easy to do. Once you're ready, click Output, and it takes you to the same place we saw last time. Great, all right, let's check out something else. Let me show you how easy it is to upload something like Facebook, Flickr, or YouTube. Now since we have just still images, let's go to Facebook. 
Again, choose the images we want. I'll just grab them all. Down to the media tray. Upload to Facebook. Waiting for authorization. Now, if you've done this before, it'll actually up or log in automatically. If not, it'll ask you to log in for the first time. Click the confirmation. All the lawyers speak. Upload settings. Choose the album you want to put it in so it finds the albums that you have in your Facebook account. And start upload. And that's how easy it is. It doesn't get any easier than that. All right? Okay, all the rest of the choices are pretty self explanatory. Um, slideshows, very similar to photo books, collages, calendars. Projects will bring up the projects you've created so you can edit them if you like. Order online for professional printing. Back up your data to a CD or DVD. And of course, you see the rest. Well, that's how easy it is. So I encourage you to get in and try it yourself. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.